on Hollis Ave at the dark When I seen a man chilling with his dog in the park Jingle bells! Hello, Merry Christmas and welcome to what promises to be one of the most above average rehashes of old content on the entire internet this year. Let's get straight to it then, the five car review videos that I most enjoyed doing in 2018. Supercars never do that well on our channel. For some reason, people seem to prefer it when I'm blabbing on about crossovers and hatchbacks. Nonetheless, the R8 RWS is the cheapest bona fide supercar you can buy, so I'm sticking it in here, whether you like it or not. It's also the most enjoyable car I drove in 2018, bar none. What we have here then is today's basic R8. And as before though, also arguably the best. Honestly, I thought this would be dreadful, but, quel surprise, it surprised me. I never thought I'd actually enjoy driving a middle market French saloon type car. It's actually a hatchback, but you know what I mean. But this thing is brilliant, mainly because it has the best mainstream interior ever. Ford and Vauxhall make nice cars too, but when was the last time that you got into a Mondeo or an Insignia and went, wow? you can't really understand just how good the M5 is until you've spent a bit of time with it. Like, I knew it would be fast and practical and comfortable and blah, blah, blah. But just how completely brilliantly it did everything was the real surprise. If I could only have one car for the rest of my life, it would be a, well, it would be a Perugia Mimi to be honest, but this is a very close second. What's so very spectacular about the M5 is that it brings a fireworks party to the day-to-day -day mundanity of your existence. This was pound for pound my favourite car of 2018. Frankly, I'd be quite happy never to drive another crossover for the rest of my life, but if more of them were like this, I might change that stance. The XC40 is everything a good family car should be. Spacious but not too bulky, clever while remembering the basics, comfortable and stylish. It's a car I'd buy with my own money if I wasn't still trying to pay off my Greg's tab. So, for the third time in a row, Volvo's created a brilliant SUV thing. A phenomenal Swedish hat-trick, if you will. Well, Hart didn't quite get that right. <laughs> By far the most popular video we did this year, the Jimny is a car that everybody seems to love. It's been like this for the last two decades, although it's not quite clear why. And that's sort of the same with this one. It's bad in some ways, brilliant in others, but always lovable. And as an aside, making this video was an absolute nightmare. All the in-car stuff was filmed during about half an hour of being lost in rush hour traffic in Frankfurt. The language between takes was colorful. And then there's some stuff that feels positively anachronistic. The gear stick vibrates in your hand when you're idling, which, you know, if that's not an old school quality, I don't know what is. This thing is brilliantly, bafflingly joyful. Love it. <laughs> There you go, top five cars of 2018, sort of. Seriously, thank you so much for being with us this year, for all your likes and your dislikes and your praise and your criticism. That's what makes the channel interesting and I do appreciate it all. We're still small, but the channel's growing rapidly and it's down to you, obviously. I hope you all have an amazing Christmas and New Year. Here's to getting a virus in 20, no. Here's to going viral in 2019. Bye. Sake, oh, you f I've gone the wrong way. <laughs> sake, half a tip. For sake, shut up. Oh, hell. This is a nightmare.